An online relationship, thousands of dollars, and a triple murder. Tonight, News 6 is digging into the case of a 29-year-old accused of killing his family in their Chuliota home. We first brought you breaking details about Grant Amato's arrest today on the morning news. Now, we're investigating what lies ahead in that case. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us live from the Seminole County Jail tonight. Nikki. Matt Granamato is accused of killing his parents and his brother. And tonight I caught up with an attorney who says there's a lot to unpack in this complicated spider web of a story. He says forensics and alibi could play a big role. This six page affidavit reveals details about the moments leading up to the gruesome triple homicide inside this Chuliota home investigators believe was at the hands of Grant Amato. And it is utterly shocking. You know, the, the question that everybody wants answered is, how could this possibly happen and who did this? It's a burning question, attorney Stephen Kramer says, may be complicated in proving who murdered Margaret, Chad, and Cody Amato. This is not a slam dunk for the defense by, by any stretch. You know, this is a case where it is going to depend on really good, hard-nosed detective work. The report includes an interview with Cody Amato's girlfriend about what may have prompted the deadly feud. She claims Grant stole $200,000 from his parents to communicate with an online call girl from Bulgaria on a pornographic website. In the report, she also claims Cody told her that he was afraid Grant would kill everyone. You've got a really uh, a storied history here where you've got an individual that law enforcement believes is struggling with depression, with addiction issues. Grant's attorney saying it comes down to what the prosecution can prove. The affidavit basically is just a denial from him and certainly motive and opportunity. But as far as forensic evidence, hardcore evidence, you know, bloodstains, weapons, DNA, things of that nature that would place him at the time of the death of the family. There's, I don't see any of that now. Grant did admit to detectives that he did have a motive and opportunity, and he says he will likely be blamed for this. Grant is being held here at the Seminole County Jail on premeditated murder. For now, I'm live at Seminole County Jail. Nikki Zaza, getting results, News 6.